Hey guys, it's Mike Harvey in the Badfish Warehouse in Salida, Colorado. I want to reintroduce you today to the Badfisher, the original inflatable stand-up paddleboard set up for fishing. The Badfisher is a great all-around platform. You can do nothing more than pump it up and take it out and paddle on the lake and you'll have a great time. But if you want to get out and fish off the board, it's specially designed for fishing. It's got tons of tie downs, D-rings, different attachment points. And I want to kind of walk you through how we like to set it up for a day out fishing. All right, guys, to start, I'm going to show you how you'd set it up to go out and use it as a stand-up paddleboard. Um, and so when you're stand-up paddleboarding, obviously the first thing is you got to leave yourself enough room in the middle of the board for a cockpit to stand and paddle. But you want to have enough space that you can move forward and back if you need to. We always tie a cooler on, even if you're not going to have stuff in the cooler. The reason is, is it gives you a great place to sit down, retie a lure, retie a fly, just take a break. So the cooler is really uh, not just there for carrying your cold beverages. It's also there for practical purposes to give you a place to sit down. So you can stick the cooler behind your paddling cockpit, just off this Scotty plate here, and tie it down with cam straps to the D-rings and back. Moving forward on the board, of course, you got the water bottle holder for your water. Um, all the, the board has three Scotty plate attachments. Um, Scotty makes a ton of different accessories. Here we have the spin casting, bait casting rod holder on. So you can carry multiple rods. Um, you could put a rod in back, uh, pointed off the back of the board, one up front here that's easy to get to. Um, there's also a ton of other accessories. There's things like cup holders, there's uh, GPS mounts, uh, GoPro action camera mounts, so plenty of options for Scotty to accessorize your board however you want. In this case, we've got a spinning rod right up here up front where it's easy to get to, easy to reach if we want to make a cast on the fly. Um, up front here right now, we have sort of a tackle box set up. Um, again, you can use uh, cam straps to tie it down to these D-rings. Of course, if you wanted, you, if say, say you just wanted to bring uh, some extra layers out or something, you could just throw a dry bag on there and stick it underneath the bungee cord up front. So plenty of options for your gear. The Scotty plate on front, we typically use that for an anchor mount. And so you might want to stop at some point. Maybe there's a little bit of wind. You want to set up to uh, cast at some fish. You see where the fish are feeding and you want to stay back some distance and hold your position. You want to have an anchor up front. In this case, we're using a simple bag anchor with some plastic tines that you could throw rocks in, throw some coral in uh, to make it heavy enough. And then the, the anchor mount, again, it's an accessory from Scotty, very simple. You just pull on this rope, the anchor drops, you just, it feeds through, you let it go, it cams in place. Of course, you could use a, uh, a heavier metal sea kayak style anchor. There's tons of anchor options out there depending on whether Maybe you're flying with the board and it's simpler to go with a bag anchor, or if you're just going to pull it out of the back of your truck, then the heavier anchor works. So that's how we set it up for stand-up paddleboard fishing. Of course, the advantages of fishing on a stand-up paddleboard is the visibility. You can see things, see fish, um, and so very often this is how we would set it up. Next, I'm going to show you how we use it as a fishing kayak. So what makes the bad fisher so cool and unique is that you can set it up as a fishing kayak as well. The way you do that is get the perch fishing chair, which is an accessory you can buy with your bad fisher. It's a very comfortable fishing seat that with four cam straps you can attach to the board. You want to attach it to the four D rings that have the black nylon um, on them. And then you can turn this into a fishing kayak. So when it's set up as a fishing kayak, you could still have the cooler behind you if you wanted to carry some uh, drinks or food with you. Of course, you still have the rear uh, Scotty mount for an additional rod or maybe a GPS or a action camera. Um, as you go forward again, you know, we have the anchor mount set up now, but if you're using this as a kayak, maybe the anchor is unnecessary. You could decide that. Um, there's all kinds of other accessories that can go on the Scotty plates. Like I like this beer holder. If, uh, you know, I might put a rod in back and my cool beverage up front. Make sure you use the included hardware with any accessories you use so that you don't damage your board. Dry bag up front. We've got a tackle box still, again, using these forward D-rings. And again, the anchor mount up front. Badfish makes a what we call the custom kayak paddle. This paddle's great because you can adjust it both for length and for offset. Um, and you can check that out. It's uh, plenty long to clear the sides of this board and uh, very comfortable, makes for very comfortable paddling in the perch seat. 
So that's a little overview on how we set up the bad fisher for a day out fishing. Um, but share with us your favorite way to do it. Tag us on Instagram, hit us up on Facebook, or send us an email at customer service at badfishsup.com. The bad fisher is in stock right now at your local bad fish dealer or at our website, badfishsup.com. Thanks. Yeah.